Hello and welcome to XRM1 Business Solutions. XRM1 is a globally active software manufacturer for business solutions based on the Microsoft Dynamics platform. We are offering solutions for project, HR, and idea management, as well as time tracking. Welcome to today's training session of using project templates. This video is regarding CRM project, the software for professional project management in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. There's different ways to start a new project. We can create a project from scratch. We can import project from Microsoft project. We can create projects from templates, create them from orders. Our main focus today is the create of projects from templates. Using templates is done through the following structure. The first thing you do is you create a project, like the template project, with arbitrary structure, activities, and travels. If you have done that, you need to change the status from the regular status to the template status. That way it knows that it's a template. And then if you say this template is fine, we will approve this template. And from that day on, you can copy the template and create new projects with the structure that you have defined at the beginning. Once a template is approved, uh, the template is inactive, means nobody can do changes on it. If you now figure out that you need to change something, you need to go back and set the template back to the template, to the draft state. And then if you've done the changes, you can again put it back in the approved state and you can create new projects based on that. How are we going to do this in the system? I open up my Dynamics CRM system and I have already created a a project in CRM. I go to my work breakdown structure and you will see. So we have our project. Now, if I go back and want to define this as a template, I need to set this, change the status to template in progress. So I go into my project and change the status to template in progress. Save that. And now this is a template. You will recognize that because if you go to the work breakdown structure, and you, you will figure out that everything is no longer in orange or blue, it's now in purple, um, defining it as a template. And if you now want to create new projects based on that, we're going to need to approve this template. Therefore, I go back into my project charter, click on the dots, click on template, and then we can approve the template. Say publish, start, and the project is approved. If I now refresh this page, you will see that the status is no longer template in progress. It will be a template approved. From that time on, and it's inactive, so we cannot do any changes. From that time on, we can create copies of this template. What we then need to do is we again go to the dots, go to template. And then you will figure that the screen looks a little different. We can now generate a project from the template and can define how this new project should look like. It should be a copy of the project, but of course, a new project always has different times than the project underneath. Here you can define what should be the start or the end date of the project. So if you say the start date is uh, here the July the 1st, the project will be starting on July the 1st and end based on the duration that is set up. Or you say we have a fixed end date. We have end date on August the 31st and the project will be on the line as the same way, but the start date will be based on the duration of the, of the project. You can then find and replace the text in the title of the project. Um, in here, like the title, you need to change that. It's a, it's a special for this. So you can say, for example, you want to replace BLI it should not longer be BLI, it should be, for example, ABC. This, you say, okay, only BLI should be replaced with ABC. This find and replace looks up the whole project tree. If I go to the work breakdown structure, you can define, if I say BLI, it will look up the whole project tree, including the structure and will replace everywhere where it's called BLI. So if I say BLI, ABC. You can select the account this is for. So this can, for example, be for AVK. And then you can define if the tasks and project nodes should be assigned to the people in the template or go to myself. So if I say 
And so this project is owned by only me, but if you have set up different owners, you can say it should be assigned to the people that are defined in the template or to myself. Same with the resources. If you have set up resources in the planning table, you have assigned the work to those people, then you can also assign this to the people by clicking yes. And you say you want to copy all notes, hit start and the new project will be created. You see it's no longer called BLI DB CRM implementation, it's now called ABCDB. And if I go to the work breakdown structure, everywhere where BLI was. We have now created the project. If we now say, for example, want to do some changes, we can then go in and need to unapprove the project. We go again to the dots, go to template, and then go in and edit the template. Say start. And now the project is no longer approved. It's again in the process start status and I can do some modifications. So for example, I can go in and uh, go into the work breakdown structure and could say, for example, this should also be called BLI. And for example, change the owner. For, for the project itself, uh, I have a recommendation. Uh, you always have something that should be replaced in the, in the project from the template. I would recommend to set this in brackets. And that way, the people that are creating the project from the template always know what to replace. So I'm going to put these brackets in here and replace that and put this in, in, in the whole project tree. And I will do this also for activities. When I'm done, I can then go back to my project. I can again approve this. And if I create a new project, I see the brackets and I can delete everything except the brackets and replace that. For more information regarding our products, services, customer experience, and support you are invited to visit our website, xrm1.com.